Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I'm a second year student in the Foster School of Business at the University of Washington. Going into college, I knew that I wanted to study business and specifically I chose Foster at UW because it has a really great business program. The professors are really awesome and there are a lot of resources and opportunities that Foster gives the students. There's also something called Foster Fridays, which means that as you take more and more business classes, you usually don't have class on Fridays, and that's built in to make it easier to meet with your group for classes and also network with business professionals. One of the downsides is that you do end up being pretty busy because you have class, you have the meetings for group projects, and then meetings for extracurricular activities. So. That is one of the cons, but overall, I'd say that it's a pretty great program with a lot of different things that you can get involved in. The culture at Foster is both competitive and helpful. There is a level of competitiveness within the people at Foster because everyone is so driven, but at the same time, it definitely is incredibly helpful. And whether that's through other students in your classes, upperclassmen or even alumni, there is always someone who is more than willing to help you. Many of the classes at Foster are lecture-based and case-based, so you do get some hands-on experience, but most of them are lectures, although once you start taking higher and higher classes, those will be more case-based than lecture-based. Because UW operates on a quarter system rather than a semester system, the classes go by pretty quickly and each quarter is 10 to 11 weeks long. In order to succeed at Foster, I think that one of the most important skills that you can have is time management. And because of how many opportunities there are at Foster, if you're really wanting to get involved, then you definitely can. There are so many opportunities to do so but juggling school and academics, maybe a job, all of that takes a lot of time and energy, so making sure that you have those time management skills is incredibly critical. You also want to be able to think critically, and by taking these foster classes and learning from your professors, but also other students, I think that this does promote this level of high-level thinking. I don't believe that you need to take the SAT or the ACT anymore to apply to UW, so that's no longer a mandatory thing. Instead, it is now optional, although there is the personal statement. And for that, I would definitely recommend just being yourself and showing and not telling what makes you unique. You want to be able to paint a picture in your reader's eyes and really show them who you are and what makes you, you. I would recommend getting as many people to read your personal statement as possible, just so that you can get a lot of different perspectives and a lot of opinions. With a foster degree, there are many different opportunities and it really depends on what you're looking for with your job and with your career. I'm personally really interested in finance and within that consulting. For the recruitment process, that also really depends on what major you are and what kind of job you're looking to get into. It usually starts in the fall, depending on your major. Some majors recruitment happens throughout the entire year. Something that has been really helpful for me in terms of knowing what I want to do after graduation is really just talking to other students at my school and whether this is other students in my year or upperclassmen, they have been incredibly helpful to just learn from because oftentimes people will have very different experiences from you so then being able to talk to them and learn about what they learned is really helpful. Also doing informational interviews with people in industries that you might be interested in or different careers, that's always really really helpful and especially when you're a student, a lot, of per, a lot of business professionals are more than happy to talk to you. 
I did take a lot of AP classes in high school and I think that's proven to be very helpful in terms of not only my work ethic and my expectations going to the classes, but also being able to have sophomore standing when I was a freshman and being able to take classes that usually freshmen would not be able to take. But it's especially nice for registration because since there are so many students at UW, registering for classes can be a little tough. If you are an upperclassman, then it is easier because you do have priority and you register earlier than the underclassmen do. So that makes it easier. But if you're an underclassman, then it can be a little hard to get the classes that you want. So coming in with a lot of AP credit really helped me out with that. There are a lot of different classes that UW offers, which is really awesome. With this being said, a lot of the foster classes are usually tough and most people take a max of three per quarter and that's just the standard, especially because each one usually has at least one group project. So you have additional team meetings outside of usual lecture that makes it even more busy. For studying, I would highly recommend figuring out how you prefer to study because whether that is by yourself in a library where it's really quiet or if you're okay with some background noise, if you actually like studying with other people, that is really good to know coming into college and also discovering that during your freshman year of college because once you have that foundation set and you know what you prefer and how you work best, then you'll be a lot more productive later on. I would also highly recommend keeping a calendar. You can see my lovely calendar right there. And it just helps me stay organized and know what I have coming up in a particular day or a week. So that way I can put certain deadlines there. I can put all my meetings there and just have that noted down. During my freshman year, so my first year at university, I did stay in a dorm and it was honestly a really awesome experience. One of the pros is when you live in a dorm, you actually get a meal plan so that way you don't have to cook. One of the cons is that you are usually living in a pretty small space with usually one, maybe two roommates. I had two roommates. I personally don't mind not having that much personal space. So it really depends on the kind of person you are and what you like. So a few months before we moved in together, my roommates and I actually went through a roommate contract and we talked about whether or not we wanted the dorm to be clean, like how, if so, like how clean, how often would we clean it and the bathroom and everything. And that was just really helpful to keep everyone on the same page. There are a lot of popular places on campus and one of them I would say is the AV. It's like a strip of restaurants and a lot of really awesome food places that you can go to. Within Foster, there are so many different clubs and for the most part, whatever interests you have, there is a club for you at UW. And within Foster, there's a lot of business specific ones like a finance one that I'm in, which is really great, would highly recommend. There's some specific career related ones. So then that way you can get some hands-on experience, but also learn from your peers. Because there are so many students at UW, I would highly recommend talking to people that you just pass by, whether or not they're in your classes because you never really know where you can find your friends and by talking to more people that hopefully will increase your chances of finding people that you really click with. At Foster, there is the Foster Career Services. So that is a group that really helps you in prepping for whether that's like an interview or an internship. It's been really helpful and there are peer mentors as well as academic advisors and you can go book an appointment with them whether that's to schedule like a mock interview, have them look through your resume and give you feedback, things like that. 
There also are a lot of support groups for minorities and people of color. There is the Undergraduate Diversity Services, which is UDS, and it's a really great space for people of color and minority groups to really form bonds and get to know people. They have amazing faculty and they're always super helpful, super kind, super easy to talk to, and really friendly. I would tell myself, say yes and also say no. You want to make sure that you are taking the initiative to get more involved and just explore all the opportunities you can, but you don't want to overwhelm yourself, especially because you're adjusting from high school life to college life and you want to be able to have some time just for yourself and if you're always just go 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 then it's going to be really hard to reflect on the experiences that you've had in college so really enjoy your time in college because the four years fly by so quickly <laughs> and then as for general life advice even when one door closes and let's say that you get rejected from something that you're really hoping for something that you're looking forward to a lot that's okay, it definitely is not the end of the world because when one door closes, there are five others that open and you just don't know about them yet and everything will work out in the end.